Hello everybody and welcome back to Homeward Bound. You guys retreat, right? Yeah, I you think so. Fall back a little bit away from the the horde of demons that has arose out of sight somehow. I think we follow the road, and I think it leads back to the coast because it looks like the same road that we saw once before, right? Mm -hmm. um, follow back to the coast and then turn right at the coast and head to look for Maybe. the beach, which is where the where does this road lead? I think you follow yeah. the road, um, and eventually you come to a four-way intersection. Ah, oh, fuck. Which ways does it split? Forward, back, left, and right. They're not exactly at right angles, but close enough. Can we go back to the map screen? Yes. Yeah. So I'm just going to do some editing oh. here. I think we followed it like vaguely north, right? We were heading that direction. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. we followed a road. I'm guessing forward would probably link up with this. Yeah, so I think it's probably like and this. And then there's... And then it's crossroads like that. Um, I think this blue was the old road, wasn't it? No. I just deleted Beach the road. Beach road, okay. Yeah. The road was from like down here. So I think we so we want to go forward, correct? Yeah, I think we keep going straight. Okay, you guys continue straight, and after an indeterminate amount of time, you end up back at that same beach. Okay, and we find the boat or not? Yes, it has not been moved. All right, so I think we go onto the boat, and I think this is the time where we Grimes speaks to Zara, and we work out what new powers she's got and if it, any of it can help us because yeah. that's what's changed right there's a god now she's got spells she's a spellcaster <clears throat> mm -hmm. so you talk to Zara what do you want to say to her I'm not sure <clears throat> did William what ask her I... uh, well she seems to have been able to cast spells again Grimes maybe she has yep. maybe magicals granted her some powers that can assist us yeah in more you, than just uh, yeah, Zara, you have your powers back. She nods. I have. What does this mean? It means that hope guides us. There's, there's hope yet for us to get off this God's forsaken rock. Have you spoken with? Uh, I feel your her. Goddess. We do not, have not exchanged words like you mean. Do you feel what she wants us to do? I think we should follow her. I think she is here for us, and we should go towards her. I translate this to William. Zara thinks hope beckons us to follow her. I look to north? the sky. Yeah, is it, which direction is it? It's north, maybe slightly northeast. Does she have any spells that can tell us more? Uh, can you can you pray for more guidance? Hmm. She will, once you guys are in the boat and on your way, she will attempt to commune with her goddess. Maybe uh, while she's communing for the days, we can row around the coast towards the east. Maybe we can, I mean, if Matrigal is above a certain place on this island, perhaps we can begin to uh, locate it by circumnavigating around. Right? If she stops being north and starts becoming west. Yeah, or maybe we can sail around this island entirely. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I am worried about running into sea monsters, but there yeah. seems to be pretty nasty monsters inland as well, so. The shrieking eels are in the water around you still calling they, to you. Do they remember what we did? No. These are different eels. Okay. Good. Yeah, so I think let's hop back in the boat and paddle around try to East. get closer to Madrigal. Yeah, so I think we'll... Oops, sorry. Sorry. Didn't mean to click that button. Mm. <laughs> sorry. Some feisty eels. 
What were you so, saying, Ryan, before I interrupted you? I, I think we're getting into the boat and we're going to attempt to row closer to the stars. Okay. You will row east towards the stars around the southern coast of the island. Okay. So as you row along the coastline for gods know how long, um, you see the coast taking a, uh, a heavy turn southward over the period of maybe, you know, five or six miles or so. It goes from being relatively even to taking a, a curve, and after another five or six miles, it's headed due south. I think, we just... I think this is wrong. Why? Because wrong. the stars are north. Well, yeah, but maybe we can... You know, scatter around. Go around. Well, we can turn around and go the, the other way. We've got time yeah. on our sides, though, Grimes. Yeah, are the stars uh, still east, or should, or are we turning away from them if we follow the coast? If you follow the coast, you'll be heading due south, and the are star still... is north by northeast. So has it has it changed its position after sailing east for a while? Nope, its position hasn't moved. <clears throat> has Zar how long has it been? Like, has Zara been praying this time? She has been praying for a while and comes She's... back saying, um, do, 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 do. Uh, she is still not fully here. I cannot speak with her directly or she does not answer, but she has granted me gifts. Um, and she will touch William's leg and heal him for 1d10 plus 1 HP. All right. Two. She heals you for two. Her powers are weak still. Okay. That's 47. Mm -hmm. um, so what, Grimes? I mean, I say we just keep going the same way and we just try and circumnavigate the whole thing. Or we can turn around and go west, but that feels like it's fruitless. But I don't think that getting off the boat and heading back into land is really... No, but I, yeah, I worry that if we go south, we'll just follow this. Although I guess we came from the south. Yeah, exactly. We can't yeah. go south forever. Yeah. Okay, we can give it a little while. All right. So you guys continue to head southward. After... Because we're rowing, does that mean that we're not healing HP? One of you can row at a time, and the other can heal. All right. So we get. I'm, I'm heal at full. Up. Okay. Yeah. I'll heal up them. Excellent. Um, so you will row and row. How much HP are you down, William? Two. Two, okay. So some hours later, maybe 20 miles of coastline have passed you. It does begin to even out again and start heading due east, but after another 15 miles of that, it curves back southward again and continues to head south. Have we seen anything of note on the, like, another volcano? Or is there you, flesh on the coast? Uh, no, the flesh over here does not... The coast over here does not appear to have any flesh on it. It appears to be rocky everywhere. Maybe a few sandy beaches here and there. Smatter and, of sand. Uh, Matchville is still northeast. North by northeast. So it doesn't seem like all these miles have changed anything our relative position to her. Because I'm thinking, like, if she's... Except if we're she's, facing away. I mean, the stars are now at our backs, and we're sailing south. But again, this, this is an island. It can't go south forever, can it? No. It would hit Caldonia. I mean, unless we've already gone more east than the whole width of Caldonia, but I don't think we have. We were rowing across the ocean for days, weeks. Who knows? I say we keep going. We're not seeing any towns. No more <laughs> volcanoes, Neil. No towns, no volcanoes. Oh. Yes, Captain. Yeah. Grimes gleefully rose. We haven't come into Lazar any speaks up. aquatic dangers. No, not yet. Not um, yet. So you keep going south then, right? Yeah. Alrighty. The opposite of where we went to be here. Sure. Uh, after another... 10 or 15 miles or so, you come past a, a point that sticks out and you see lights 
what appears to be structures of some kind, or at least like holes within the earth that shed light within them. And you can see the movement of demons within these walls. Hmm. What could this be? How big does it look? Like, could there be thousands in there? Or does it look maybe more like there'd be like, you know, 10 or 20? Uh, we're looking on the order of 20 to 100. You know, you can only see a few things here and there, but if that's all that there is, there's only 20, but if that's just a representation of a much greater amount, it could easily be 100. And the lights are coming out of the earth. Yeah, it looks like there are, are fires inside because the light waves and flickers and moves. Grimes, um, maybe you can get a closer look. See what's up. Uh, shall we make landfall? We'll make landfall like you're maybe half Makes a mile away. Yeah, let's go about a half mile past it. So we curve around the point. Well, going oh. past it might be dangerous, right? Because it might be a lookout. So you've already come past the point. Like you are heading oh, okay. um, south. And if this is the south coastline, there was something that kind of stuck out like this and came back in. And mm -hmm. we had like a, a ridge here that you probably couldn't see because of the darkness. And then it's in this back pocket where you have some sort of structures and settlements or at least like caves okay mm -hmm. so i think we go about a half mile past, past it yeah and if and look for somewhere to land all right you Is find that... a place to make landfall it's the flesh ground here oh yes where and did the flesh uh... start again uh, you noticed or... the flesh, yeah, just past this. I guess you could only really see it around the the light. the light. And then when you come towards shore, way down, down, uh, you see flesh on the shore. And yeah. All right. So we land. Am I s to sneak in and scout out the steaming village? Is that the plan? Just see, like, see what you can safely and report back. Don't do anything too dangerous. Fair really enough. Really, definitely can't sneak anymore. Yeah. All right. Well, I reach into a pack, pull out a scrag cloak, Ooh. wrap it closely around me, and uh, sneak forward. That'll be hella oh. useful. Grimes, you should grab the other. The flesh? You should grab the other uh, ethereal dagger. I don't think so. Uh, they no. shed light. <laughs> Don't right. they? Yeah. Flickering ethereal flames, I think, shed a small amount of light here. Mm -hmm. Okay. They used to make me fade, but since they've been blessed by Bellum, I think, I think they would I guess reveal my position, especially in the really darkness here. Yeah. Doesn't really believe in sneaking, does he? Sometimes you need to be stealthy in war, but you know these daggers were gifted to you in a situation where you weren't in perpetual darkness. Yeah. Uh, they may not be quite as appropriate for where you are now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, um, yeah. So weapons sheathed. I sneak towards this uh, demon outpost. Mm-hmm. You sneak towards the demon outpost. Lovely. Uh, and you do come across stone walls with spikes jutting out of them, a, a stone gate that somehow has hinges that you're not sure about. And I think you can see atop of these things sort of silhouetted by starlight and also by the like random fires in the, the windows of this structure. Um, there appear to be guardians on the walls. Some of those demon soldiers and the, the Hydra, the demon warriors and the demon Hydras are upon the walls as well as at least one taskmaster over there. I will pause and count. So I think I'll wait in the shadows of a rock or something for 10, 20 minutes and count like shadows blocking the flickering firelight to see if I can get a rough estimate of how many guards are on patrol. Uh, you count four demons on the wall, four warriors, four hydras, one taskmaster, and a new one that you haven't seen before. Uh, where is it? Where's its description? It is tall and slender with bluish purple skin, 
high cheekbones and a long jaw slash mouth. Uh, small plates of bone extend upward from joints, protecting them and the flesh above them. It is wearing darkly dyed clothes of woven hair that drape over it in long stretches, almost like, um, oh, if you've seen some of those like old timey people that have the sleeves that drape down to the floor sort of thing, sort of like that, except it's all woven of dark colored hair darkly dyed hair, uh, and the back of its head produces a long shock of white hair that drapes low. It carries a spear with it, and seems to be walking along the walls, check, like, talking to one demon, and then to another, and then to another, and then it, like, dips down below the wall, comes back up on the other side of the gate, talks to another, and another, and then continues along the walls out of view. Um, I think I'll circle the wall to try and get a feel for how big the settlement is, how mm -hmm. many buildings, and if it I seem see any more aliens. It seems to be kind of small, maybe 80 feet across or so, um, and roughly circular, not entirely, but roughly circular. Uh, inside appears to be one structure, one like mound of earth and rock or mound of rock that has been carved with tunnels through it, creating a, a complicated building. Uh, the structure is maybe 40 feet across, 30 feet high. So uh, up to three floors and who knows how many basement levels. And it's from this structure that we see the light flickering. Yes, there are windows in various parts of it, and are you can see doorways or just uh... holes, just holes. Yeah. yeah, and there are walkways uh, on the outside of the window, perhaps in some areas, because you'll see something pass in front of the window for a moment, blocked out. You know, can't see what it was, and then it's gone again. All right, <clears throat> I will return to the party. All right. <clears throat> Slip in, remove my hood. And, Get uh, back on the boat. Um, oh yeah, the, I mean your boat. The boat is grounded, right? I assume yeah. you're hanging around on shore. Yeah. Um, what did you What did you find, Grumps? A uh, small demon outpost, maybe surrounded by a stone wall, maybe eighty feet in diameter. Inside, there's a single structure, keep perhaps. Interesting. It's a couple probably stories a, tall. A defensive uh, the, position. Yeah, or a scouting outpost. Who knows? Uh, guarding it are at least four warriors, four hydras, a the, taskmaster, and something else—a leader with a spear. Did the warriors have the armor, or? I assume so. Right. These are the warriors with the obsidian blades and the armor. Uh, was, was... That is the right unit type. The armor. Still um, you didn't see them. armor on the individual warriors, but you, you, the taskmaster had armor on it, okay. uh, as well as that weird guy. Actually, no, the weird guy with the white hair and the hair clothing did not have it. So just the taskmaster had armor. I've been thinking. Chances are, Madrigal is not above somewhere on this landmass, unless it's colossal in size. Maybe we have to just sail around and keep going north. There could be more more land masses. There could just be hundreds and hundreds of these things filled with warring factions of demons. Maybe exploring this outpost is probably not going to hold any information that we can actually use. It's probably not worth the risk. I think we should try the boat while we've got time on our side. See if we can circumnavigate around this island, see if we need to keep heading north, or see if it is actually on this land before we commit to anything else. Sounds good. Shall we continue south, or...? I think we just follow the coast. I mean, eventually we're going to have to get to the north side of the island if we follow the coast. Right. One would think. I don't know if logic holds in this place. But... I'm no sailor, but... Makes sense to me. I mean, Zara could speak up if she thinks we're making the wrong thing when you ask her. Yeah, turn to Zara. Uh, the captain doesn't think it's worth... Uh, attacking the settlement. Seems like uh, the gods are far north of here. She nods uh, along with you. I think we're going to continue circling the island, try and find a passage north. 
we are going south to go north? I shrug. Eventually the coastline has to curve again, right? Is your leader dumb? How dare you? <laughs> you if you go want to go north, you go north, you don't go south. We are headed away from hope. He knows what he's doing. What goes up must go come down. Go south must go north. This island has it, it has to have an end. She shrugs. All right. Um, and then kind there's of no makes a. There's no question to your leadership. I uh, <laughs> I tell William in common. Good. Uh, <laughs> Sara points out something on on one of the dogs to you. Look. Look at this. And you can both see this gesturing in the very soft uh, starlight here. And she's pointing at the gums no, of Neil, the dog. Uh, you see the gums have these tiny little protrusions on them. Like, you know how people get skin tags? That might just be like a little weird fleshy protrusion <sighs> thingy. The dog's gums are covered in them. All of them or just the one? Uh, this one is the worst, but if you go from dog to dog, you'll see that they all have some, you know, things growing I in their mouths. I, I think I feel my own mouth. Yeah. Uh, you don't have anything going on, you Grams. You're fine. William, you have a couple. Oh, for fuck's sake. I don't want to have to kill the dogs. Or kill you. What? I, what, what is this? I ask Zara. Are they turning <laughs> native? She bears her gums to you. Do you see any on me? I look. Do I see anything? No, you do not. No, you're fine. Nimrod, get over here. What? I I I didn't do anything wrong. Smile. I I grab Nimrod by the jaw and, like, pull his lip down. Uh, Nimrod's got a few ones on his bottom jaw, but not on the top. Have the dogs been eating the fleshy ground? Yeah. They're dogs. They eat dead things. They roll around in nasty pits. They've been Nimrod. eating stuff here. Nimrod, and there. have you been have you been eating anything here? Chewing. Sometimes I get hungry, but the ground doesn't taste very good. But sometimes my stomach rumbles and I I chew anyway. Hmm. All right. Well. Nimrod's been licking the earth. And Zara tasting. She shakes her head. God's no. Okay. But then she oh. nervously looks to the pups. And then yeah. back to you guys. Are the pups okay? The pups. I say in Nolish. She walks over, grabs one by the scruff of its neck, holds it up, and then just like winces and turns away and puts it back down. They're worse. Have they been Crit- eating things here? Have I they suppose been eating? I can't keep an eye on them all the time. I can't see in the dark. It is in our nature to chew on things. Yes. It's how we know our way around the world. It's how we can taste our enemies and track them. It's this is, how we keep this ourselves is, strong. This is no world to know. No more eating anything here. It's... Pray for hope. For a cure. Uh, Velthar, not Velthar, uh, Zara falls into some silence before saying aloud to you, I wonder if this is Velthara's punishment for me abandoning her. Um, can I have the bag, William? I go digging through the bag. Yeah. Um, I pull out the two bubbling blue potions. I guess the stav and wands. Uh-huh. Will any of this help? I say to. Uh, I don't even know what's wrong with our... them. Nimrod, come back here. <laughs> what did I do? Um, I want to pull on the anti magic gloves and mm-hmm. see if I can anti magic Nimrod. Mm-mm, nope. Doesn't help. 
No, they're growing out of him. They're not magical. They're okay. part of who he is. I take the gloves off and use a gem of true seeing. Yeah, you look at Nimrod and his face has like a slightly melted quality to it as if like it's drooping with flesh. You look at the dogs and you see like patches of fur like in real time like falling off of them and the their bodies behind them growing like white and red and orangey. Um, in horror, you look at, I look to William. Uh, William isn't that bad. He's got like fangs coming out of his bottom teeth that come up to like, you know, about here-ish and uh, weird scarring patterns on his, the back of his cheeks. I think a, the, a tear begins to well up and grinds his eye. The pups look terrible. They look like small demons just crawling around on the ground. They're hard, you don't even recognize them as gnolls anymore with the gem of true seeing. I think I put the gem away before anyone else can really ask about it. And, uh... Um, let's, uh... Let's get out of here. Hope lies north. Let's go. I translate to Nolish. Yeah, okay. I think we keep on with the plan and keep an eye on... I keep an eye on my gums, see if it's getting worse. I'm not eating okay. anything, any more demons, so... Okay. <laughs> I want to see if that's what's caused it or not, if it's just... Uh, was Zara was okay? Zara was fine. No. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, you guys sail south. And I think this is a great place for us to end for the day. Um, and before we end, let's, it's been a while, let's do a, a quick check-in with our players here. Oh, God. Many things have happened today. Yeah. Positive and negative. Where where are you, William? I just it's my worst fear, right? That what's the point of even getting home if you're just gonna be like a monster when you get there? I'm glad I haven't seen what's in there with the gems. I'm hoping that I can reverse anything. I don't know, happy that we've got a target of following Matrigal and trying to get wherever she is to get out, but at the same time. Um can you even go home if you turn into a demon before you get there? So that's a great question. I thought time I thought time was on our side. Maybe it's not. What about you, Grimes? So tragic. And I finally realized my true feelings for William, only to see him turning into a monster before my eyes. Oh god. I I, I don't want to think about what I might need to do. We might have to sick. We might have to kill the pups and the dogs right at some point. Mm, I don't know. Or maybe raise them as demons of our own. Yeah, send them into battle. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Do we want to get around the end of this? Are we still traveling south when we end now? Yeah, we're still going to travel south when we end. Why don't you each take home 12,500 experience? Including 10% or not? Not including 10%. Times 1.1 1. 1 is 13750. Give me the total, Grimes. Is that, um, oh, 12,500. Is that including demons and beholder? That so is... I kill the wall segment. I kill the hydra. Mm -hmm. And the beholder. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. 12,500 yep, yep, yep. plus 1.1. 1. 1. Our grand total should be 408 even. 408,000. 000. All right, what are your next levels up? Out of question. I still need 120,000 from here to get to level 12. 92,000. 92, okay. Is this, is this, are these gnolls and kobolds? Is this my thieves guild? Is this, is this, are these the followers that I got at level 10 or 11? <laughs> I suppose. I hadn't considered it. Or actually, William is supposed to get an army. Is Although he needs a stronghold to do that. Yeah, yeah. I think you both need to build a base, a stronghold. Okay. Yeah. Well, mm. this has been another fabulous episode of Homeward Bound. You look so yeah, happy with one. yourself. Well, I feel like today went well. I mean, you've done some great things. You've you've combated some monsters. You've learned more about the world that you're in. You have a goal. Uh, and sure, things are going poorly in a lot of realms, and your dogs and your puppies are sort of becoming demonic monsters from all the random gnawing on things that they do. Um, William's my puppy, that's what you meant, right? Yeah. 
but you know, there's there's finally hope and love. Okay, at the if it same is from, time. If it is from eating things, I feel a little bit better. At least that can be stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, can it be undone though? Maybe not, but it's not so bad right now. I mean, I might get back home and then get massive demon teeth, but I guess I'll just be a half fuck. I'll just pretend to be a half fuck. Yeah. Does anyone else have anything to add before we close it out for the day? When are we playing next? I am out of town for a couple of weeks. Uh, I could conceivably do either the 8th or the 15th. Uh, the 15th might be, I would be better prepared for, because the 8th is going to be a tough one to make. Of October, September. Of September. Uh, are either of you out of town on the 8th so I can justify not playing on the 8th and I can't remember I'll be, I mean I'm around so. okay well the 8th is also the first day of desperate measures which is on Sundays as well so I think I want the 8th to prepare Sunday. for that mm -hmm. but, yeah. so let's say a homeward bound on the 15th I know it's a month away I'm sorry it's so far away everyone that's our, right. pretty much our usual mm hmm we need to get another episode of uh, Hardcore Heroes, isn't there? You're in there. Yes. Get Dan um, caught up. We can't you maybe, maybe since Sean and you are both American, maybe you can fit that in in a different time slot that's not Sunday. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, he has a thing on Saturdays, and I have shenanigans on Saturdays, and it makes it kind of hard to fit it in. But we'll yeah. we'll dig around. We'll see what's right. up. Yeah. All right. This has been Homeward Bound. We will see you guys later for more stuff. Bye, Au everybody. Au Thanks for watching.